thing for me, because like, the lights are Oh, nothing I can do now. Hey guys, so before this video starts, let me apologize for the lighting because it's going in and out. Today is like one of those overcast days. But today I have for you my... my March favorites and it's going up a little bit late but today is March today is April 2nd and yesterday was my last day of school today is my first day of spring break and I'm so freaking excited but yeah I look so spring right now like smoky eye dark lips so spring so spring but anyway let's just jump straight into my March favorite vi favorites video so I'm actually going to start off with probably my only fashion item and it is this bag right here. And another favorite of mine is the bag that I mentioned in my once in my first video. I love that purse but it's not here at the moment. This bag is like a little crossbody. You can make it shorter or longer depending on what you like. But it's just like this cream color bag and it's by American Eagle. And it's just this cream color and different zips and pockets and whatnot. And the thing that I love most is that the pattern is little owls. Is this not adorable? This is so cute. And it's got gold hardware, brown, um, fake leather. It is just amazing. This purse is so cute. I got this at Payless. If you guys see this purse, I think you should get it because it's just so versatile, so everyday, and it's just so cute. And I mean, come on, owls. Say no more. Okay, moving into, I guess, beauty, um, let's start off with concealer because I've been using a new concealer lately, it's actually a concealer palette. This is the Nobody's Perfect Concealer Palette from Hard Candy, and this is in the shade 134 Medium, and oh, I can't get it open. Alright, so it comes with six concealers, there's like tone up here, and then a purpley pinky one, a yellow, and a green for correcting. And it also comes with this little like brush kind of applicator thing, but who really uses them? But yeah, so this palette, they're like little cream pads, and these are actually really, really creamy, and the coverage, you guys, I'm going to swatch a few of them for you. They're very creamy, and the coverage on these things is just to die for. I'm wearing it today under my eyes and on any blemishes, and I doubt you can see these blemishes. But yeah, so here are some of the shades. Um, this is like the pinky one, the green one, and then this is like a highlighting shade that I use. But the coverage, they blend so nicely, and the coverage they have is like describe it. They're really, really amazing products. Blend beautifully with the skin. Cover everything. I just... Okay, next, um, let's do lips. So I've got three. No, I've got four lip favorites. And let's start off with the glosses. So, first I have this Giordano lip gloss in the shade Sorbet. And it's just this, like, corally color gloss. But the thing with this is it's not jelly formula if you get what I mean it's like as you can see right here there is color yes but it's like a jelly formula so it's like kind of sheer as you can see I really like this to top off lip glosses I mean lipsticks I really like this to top off lipsticks it just adds a little bit of color and some shine it's gorgeous for spring my next lip gloss is the NYX butter gloss in tiramisu this I've mentioned in famous videos before I just love this. I'm actually wearing a NYX butter gloss today in the Devil's Food Cake. But, Tiramisu has been the color that I've been loving this month. And, these smell so good. It's a cake battery. But this right here is Tiramisu. And they're really pigmented glosses and I really, really like them. So yeah, NYX butter gloss in Tiramisu. Right. I've got two lip liners. They're both by Giordana. The first one is in the shade Natural, which if you 
guys know me, you know that I'm always using this shade when I wear a nude lip. Natural is my go-to nude lip liner. This is my third one. So, that is natural right there. And the next one is in the shade Sexy Mauve or the Whatever you want to say, Sexy Mauve Mauve. Point is, it's sexy. <laughs> I'm so out right next to you. Um, it's natural for you. So this right here is sexy, mild, low, whatever. This is really nice. I like wearing this underneath tiramisu. suit. That is a gorgeous combination. I need to look at the camera out the viewfinder. <laughs> Moving on to the favorites for the eyeballs. So let's start off with this, which I'm actually wearing today underneath some shadow. This is the LA Colors Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Cherry Blossom. Find a place to swatch it for you. It is like a really, and this is what it looks like by the way. It is like a really pretty shimmery rose. Oh, let me get close. <laughs> it's a really pretty shimmery, like rosy, goldy color. And they blend beautifully. And they last really, really long too. So that is the shade, right? <laughs> that is the shade right up there. It's really gorgeous and yeah. I think I have some spring looks, looks coming up with this soon. My next eye favorite is going to be the LA Girl um, Nudes Eyeshadow Collection Palette. It's supposed to be a dupe for the Naked 3. It's what it looks like. I unfortunately do not have the Naked 3 because one, they don't sell it here, and two, I can't afford it. But this is the Nudes palette from LA Girl, and it comes with a little mirror right here. And then the palette just looks like this, it comes with a little brush. And to be honest, I've actually been using this brush, it is like a flat top brush. I've been using this to pack on the shades. I love this brush, I obviously haven't used that side. But this is actually really, really great quality. The shadows are super, super pigmented. I just love this eyeshadow palette. I'm going to swatch a couple of my favorite shades for you. And there are three matte shades in this palette, by the way. And the pretty brown. So, yeah, that one's a little powdery. But these are some of my favorite shades in this palette. Is there anywhere to swatch them to show you guys? with gorgeous colors and I'm actually wearing some of them on my eyes today. So yeah, that is this. So I love this palette. If you find it, buy it. Um, this is about $17.95 here. I know some stores here sell it for $20, but it's worth it, I think. It has how many eyeshadows? It's like 12 eyeshadows. So let's say I put a dollar for each eyeshadow. Is 12 and then five dollars for the packaging. That it makes sense to me, so I love this palette. And it's magnetic. Next favorite is a pigment by Giordano. Oh, I love drugstore makeup if you guys can't tell. This is in the shade bronze metal, it just looks like this. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, I posted a picture, I'll insert it here. But I posted this picture and I was going to like a model search thing and I wore this on my eyes. Oh my god, also if you guys follow me on Snapchat you would have seen it like sparkling in the sun. Gore, just, I'll link my Snapchat down below. But, shameless self as fuck. But, um, this shade is so pretty. It's swatched right there. And I'll swatch it right here for you. Did you see that? Oh my god, oh my god, like, oh, so pretty, I'm actually wearing it as a highlight today, I can get away with it because I'm like tan, so bronze highlight is just gorgeous, gorgeous, but this is such a pretty pigmented pigment, it's like $4.95, so how many US is that, it's like $2.50 US, so good, you guys. So okay, good. moving on to nail polish. I've been only loving one nail polish the 
this month. It's only been one. If you guys follow me on Snapchat or Instagram, you've known about this for a while. This is the Rimmel London Salon Pro uh, with Lyrica nail polish in the shade Barmy Blue. B A R M Y. Barmy or Bar Barmy Blue, yeah. And it's just the color I'm wearing right now, basically. And I did my nails myself, just saying. Ain't nobody got time to pay for this. I did this myself. What? Hashtag resourceful. <laughs> but, or hashtag economic saver. Savior. But, um, yeah, so this is the nail polish, and it's what it looks like on my nail. It's a really pretty navy blue. It's coming across a little brighter on camera. It's a little darker in person, but, um, the formula of this nail polish is really great. It does last really, really, really long without chipping out the nail. The Rimmel London nail polish in Barbie blue. Gorgeous. I'm actually not wearing a top coat. Yeah. Next favorite is Victoria's Secret's Love Spell. And I have so many of these little ones and then the medium ones, but I never got like the huge one because I have so many of these. But, um, Recently, I've been loving Love Spell. It just has this smell to it that I just love. Love Spell, duh. But, let's spray it. Ooh. It just smells so good. Like, if you have never sniffed Love Spell, please sniff it. Like, I even use the shower gel, then the lotion, then the perfume. So the smell is like on me for good. I just freaking love this scent. You guys need to try it. Love smell if you haven't already. Next favorite is so ew, oily and so random. It's baby oil. I have this huge stinking thing, which costs five bucks, of baby oil. Now what I've been doing with this is that first of all, I mix it in my Love Spell body lotion. So I would have to keep like doing this and then the body lotion. But what I like to do is shave my legs and get out of the shower. My legs are still wet. Apply this. It makes your legs so moisturized, so soft. It gives them that shine. You know, like that, that like when your legs are in the sun, they're like glowy. This gives you them glowy legs. If you guys want a video on how I get my summer legs, like summer bronzy glowy legs, Request it down below or shoot me a tweet. But this stuff is part of that. This is part of the reason. And I've used it so much and look at that. Yeah. And I have a backup. Baby oil. With aloe and vitamin E. <laughs> my next favorite is this thing. I think it's my last favorite. <gasps> this video was so short. No, I have music favorites. Okay. My next favorite is this. This is a charger that lights up. Now, I don't have anything to plug it into right now, but I will insert a clip of it glowing. It changes colors like a rainbow. It is so cool, man. Like, this thing is life. It just makes charging my phone fun. On to music favorite, okay, guys. So my first music favorite is Truffle Butter by Nicki Minaj featuring Drake and Lil Wayne. Your face when you figure out what Truffle Butter really is. But it's a good song. If you don't think about the truffle butter, you'll be fine. But this song. I've also been loving Unkiss Me by Maroon 5. This song was so relatable at some point in my life, but I found it recently and I love this song.
can't just let go Who's disrespectful? How you can't go light to my heart Cause I thought you felt it You can't light a fire if the candles melt it Oh, you don't have to love me You don't wanna Um, I actually kind of stopped one of them. I know she's just really pretty. So the first girl I want to shout out now, I, I'm so, 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 so sorry. I do not know her name. She does go to my school though, so. Her Instagram is xmvly underscore underscore. I'll write it on the screen and I'll link it down below. But, um, she is just she's really pretty and she complimented me yesterday but yeah so i'm just gonna shout her out here's one of her pics she's really pretty um you know some of the girls that go to my school are seriously inspiration on why i keep making youtube videos her profile i couldn't um, find it because she changed her picture but this is her so i'll leave that link down below you guys can go follow her she's got more followers than me so she's balling, but I love her. She's really pretty and she's actually a really nice girl. Next person I want to shout out is actually a personal friend of mine. She's a total nut job, but you are nut job, you're a nut job. But she is actually helping me through some rough patches and I don't know. She's helping me through some rough patches and she's actually Gorge. I loved her makeup at Model Search that I went to, and I do not think, well I don't know if she has Instagram or not, she should tell me, but I will shout her out on Snapchat. But anyway, I can't, she hasn't posted a story, but her username is unicorn underscore weirdo I believe, I'll have it on the screen. Her name is Sharia, she goes to my school and she's helping me through some rough shit. She's actually a really cool friend, and yeah, so I'm just shouting her out here on my channel. And but anyway, that's something I wanted to start uh, every month. So it's someone who I've inspired, someone who's inspired me to do something, someone who I've noticed overly active on my Instagram, my Twitter, my Snapchat. You guys snap me, maybe I'll screenshot him and like put him in a little collage. But um, yeah, so that is it for my March favorites of 2015. We're now in April, spring, and summer, and birthday. I just love it. So anyway, thank you guys so much thank for watching. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a beautiful day or night.